Ryan, another weekend away for us in the FA Women's National League this Sunday against MK Dons. Before we get into that, I thought we'd talk a little bit about the previous match uh, against Oxford. Is there any final takings away uh, that you can sort of have from that game? Yeah, I think I alluded to it on Sunday after the game. Um, I thought it was a positive performance, which is mad really when you look at the scoreline. But um, yeah, we've worked on stuff this week in training to um, try and rectify those mistakes and little just fine details around the errors just, just to prevent us from conceding those goals we conceded. Um, yeah, but with the ball, I thought it was really positive, created some really good chances. So again, just be a little bit more clinical in the final fairs and um, take that into the, the MK game this weekend. How would you describe our start to the second half of the season? Um, well, it's been positive. Uh, we've had two league games no, three league game site, four points. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been a positive start. Um, probably where we expected to be in terms of points-wise. So, um, yeah, it's been performance levels again continue to rise. I thought the Chatham game, um, again, we were. I thought the performance was okay. Um, but we grew after that, played a really good game against Cheltenham. And I think the performance went up again against Oxford, but we just met a good Oxford team on the day. So, yeah, just continuing to grow and, like you say, hopefully we can get some more points on the board um, and just keep ourselves clear of that relegation line. MK, obviously the opposition this weekend. They're seven points clear with a game in hand, sitting in sixth in the league. Are you looking at this game almost as, obviously you want to win it, but there's an element of that's not the main thing. It's not one of those important games compared to some of the ones that you've got down the line. Well, I think where we want to go as a club, um, it would give us a good indication of where we are and where we need to get to this weekend. Um, I don't think we're a million miles away from the top teams in this league. Um, it's a very tight, close league. Um, and maybe one or two additions will get us over the line in next season into jumping into the top half of the table. So, yeah, I think this game is going to be a real clear indication. MK have had a very good season, in my opinion. Um, they've picked up some very good results. Um, look a well-organised side. Charlie's got them well-disciplined. They know how they want to play. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. It's a long journey for us on Sunday. So that has an impact. So we've just got to make sure we prepare properly on Sunday on the way up and do the right things. You said something very similar last season when talking about MK. Obviously, you rate them very highly in terms of a squad overall and what Charlie's been doing there. Looking at that side that you played twice last season where you won away and, uh, sorry, lost away and won at home, is there been a, has there been a huge difference to them compared to what's happened here? I think they've got a similar squad to last year. So where they've probably kicked on is they've probably retained the majority of the squad. Um, and then the, the consistency in players helps I think so and that's what we're trying to emulate here in terms of we want to keep players at this football club and add one or two additions to strengthen so that will be the aim next year. Um, are we a million miles away from MK Dons? No um, I don't think we are like I say last last couple of seasons we've lost both games away um, but won both games at home quite convincingly at home as well to be fair so just got to look at those games what we've done well in those games and like I say try and implement that this Sunday and we can go and get a result 100%. Who on the pitch for MK are you almost looking at as the biggest threat and who are you looking for on your side of the fence to be able to deal with that and be able to comfortably nullify those threats that they pose? To be fair, MK have got threats all over the pitch. They've got good quality players. Um, they're very patient with the ball and wait for opportunities. So we're going to have to be the opposite and be patient without the ball and pick the right moments when to go and press and when to win the ball. So, um, yeah, obviously we do our homework on every team each week and we look at the strengths and weaknesses of those teams. So that'll be in the game plan for Sunday. And let's like say it would be down to the players to go and execute that this weekend. They've done... The job in a few games this season, if we looked at Cheltenham, um, thought they executed the game plan superbly and I thought they did on Sunday as well to be fair, it was just one player in particular, Zoe Barrett, was just on form and was clinical in front of goal and she scored two wonderful goals and punished us. So yeah, if we, if we can just stick to the game plan, stick to what we're good at, um, then like you say, I, I, I think we'll cause MK just as much problems as they'll cause us. And we've spoke about obviously squads changing so much, not just in this interview, but in all the past interviews that we've had going into these games. Um, obviously, we are in a transfer window. Is there any news or any exciting sort of bits and pieces that you can give us at the moment? We've had a little look at areas we need to strengthen at. Um, we're in discussions, possibly around one player coming in. It's a long way off, but we'll, we'll see. Um, 
I don't think it's overly critical in terms of trying to recruit. I just like to say, just consistency with our own squad and we'll be fine. Um, so yeah, if, if we can strengthen and improve the squad, we will, but it's, it's not an essential this time of season, I don't think. Well, Ryan, all the best of luck for the weekend. Cheers, Jake.